Now, the first thing we do is we create a grid like this with nine rows and five columns. I will go through the element of each row one by one, uh, but uh, I think it'll be better if I uh, use an example. So I'll start off with an example. Now, on the top, there are four areas here. So I've picked up four colors. That will be the scheme for each one of those boxes. So let's just uh, go through the colors first. So the first one I chose a green. Uh, what I do is I go in theme colors and I take the before last for the grid. Uh, the second one I took violet, so this is the typical uh, standard color this time. It's not part of the theme, it's part of the standard, it's violet. Uh, the blue, it's a second one there, and second one from the right, and I take the before last color here. And this one, I don't really like the deeper one, so I just take the, the third one, but the one at the very top. So this is this would be the color will be consistent with uh, each one of the boxes. So what do I put in these box names? Uh, before, if you want to follow the same font, the font that I use here would be the font that I use in the boxes. It's called the Benchcript Semi Bold and Semi Condensed. Semi Condensed. They didn't have enough room for the, for the dense. So so this is the one that I use and. Inside here, I will be using a, a light, a bench script light here. So let's start off with an example. First, I would say, for instance, running. I want to do running, and I put it in uh, high uh, caps uh, because I will be using this for my boxes. So the first row, I say, what do we measure? So f if you want to measure water, for instance, it would be conception, but here for running, I want to measure uh, let's say the kilometer of running and by the way this could be for the week this could be for the month or this could be for the day I'll leave it to you to decide maybe for the week will be better so that's a little bit more consistent so what we measure the kilometer of running so what I put in those boxes is quite important because when I create the health boxes then I will take the text directly from those boxes or from a field that is based on those boxes. It will make sense later on if it doesn't make sense now. The unit then is kilometers, not of running, just kilometers, action verb. So it's it's just to show the progress, what have I done? So here it's run. Uh, the target, let's say I don't need to put the unit, I just put say you want to run uh, 100 kilometers per week for instance. Completed, so this row here, this is the row where we will input our progress. So I can put it in a different type of color. Uh, for instance, here we have done 20. So this is calculated, left to do. So it's uh, 100 less 20, it's 80. So the text for in progress equal 20 and blank and kilometer and blank and action verb round so 20 kilometer round so we've built this field here uh, based on the progress that we have made uh, the unit and the action verbs so this gives me the flexibility to reuse this for the health boxes that we'll be creating text for target so once we've done those two boxes, by the way, so those boxes are calculated, it, it will be done across the board. We can just copy them. So text for the target is, uh, we can put something along the lines of target, I coded, and we put the target here, and we put a blank maybe, and, oh, do we want a blank? Yes, and then we put the unit target 100 kilometers. So I'm just going to put a capital T for here. So that's it. So we've already done one boxes. So let me show you just visually here, just using the same color, uh, the first what we measure. So this will be shown on uh, the box. And those two also will be shown on the box. And obviously, Sorry, I just want to put the lighter green here. And the running here will also be shown on the box. So now if we fast forward a little bit, I've done that for all the boxes. 
So I have created one for water, weight and balance. For water, for instance, I'm not going to walk you through uh, every single one, but for water, I take a, a, a lighter purple for this. What we measure at the conception unit is uh, centiliters, action verb is drank, uh, target uh, is, let's say, we want to drink 120 centiliters. That might not be a, a lot, but uh, especially if we talk a per week, but um, uh, maybe I could put the unit as liter and during the week, I don't know, maybe 20 liter. Does that make sense? Completed 10 and uh, this needs to be uh, all this needs is calculated, so I can just go there, and I can just copy and paste to the function formula here. So 10 liter drink, target 20 liter. So you see how it works; it, it brings everything back here. So for the weights, you can do sets, and if your target is 20 sets, then it would say five sets completed. And for the balance, is time spent. Just to give you an example of the time spent doing an activity. It could be relaxing, it could be anything. And then five minutes spent and the target is uh, 20 minutes. So you can, this is flexible. You can put whatever you want uh, because I didn't want to update things directly in a box. Uh, if we update things directly in a box, it could become a bit messy very messy very quick so the idea is when i create my health boxes i will drag things from here and after if we may want to make some changes we just make the changes here and every week we could cross that off and start from scratch remove that and start from scratch so this is it for the table now we can move on to start creating those boxes and as usual we create one first and after we duplicate. It's just to make it obvious what needs to go in a box, I'm just gonna take the lightest color of each one here, like the lightest blue here, the lightest uh, of that one here. So now I can, I can do, so this, this, all these areas here will be shown on the boxes, on the box. And this is the light purple. Uh, just to make sure I got the fonts right, I'm just going to write here the, the size of the font, font size. This one will be a 16, this one will be a 14, and this one will be a... This one needs to be smaller, so I'll put a 14 here. So we'll transfer all these in a box. So I've been talking about that box for a little while now, so better not mess it up. Let's get started. So insert you don't want to do a text box here because it will give you uh, square corners and we don't like square corners we prefer something a bit rounded everything is square on uh, on excel and if we want to give it a bit of an app uh, look then we want something round on the side so if you don't if you think this is too round you could just change it a little bit this way now if we start with the running component here. So the running component, I need to put uh, a different color. So let's try and find a color. I think I will put the second one here, the second shade here. And then we're going to start putting things in that box. Now, what we need to, uh, uh, so before I do this, I need to remove the shape outline. I don't like this. So I remove the shape outline. And by the way, I don't have white as a background. I have this yellowish, but that, that can be easily fixed. What I've done is I want to I went to normal here and I changed it. Uh, but uh, if you want to, if you prefer white, you just go, uh, you just leave as is. But if you want to have it uh, like mine, you go to modify the normal font and you put fill. And here I put the third one, the first one here. So we need to click on the border here. And then we need to put equal at the top in the formula bar here. So I just put equal and I put this one here, the title. This would be the title. So what did we say for the title? We say we want a, a, a font of 16 and I'm using the this font here, uh, my usual font here. I just put it back here. I'm using this font here. So I just need to put 16 and I want to put it in the center, obviously. And what I want is I want to have a strong color here. So I put the strongest of the black. 
uh, the strongest of the green sorry so that's it this is this is part of the box so this will move with the box the other component will not be part of the box so we will need to group everything when we finish but we'll uh, we'll cross that bridge the second thing we want to put is we want to put what we are measuring so here i want to put here the kilometer of running so for this i can have a text box actually for this i can have a text box i put it here i what i need to do is i need to have a shape field that is that has no fill so i'll be able to put it on this box here and uh, i need to also remove the the border on this but we'll see that later on so i'm just going to put equal and this will be the process kilometer of running so this is where it will be so we center it we center it and then we take the font size of 14 that we had here So 14 bell looks a bit big, but that's uh, because I still have the, the uh, bench with light when I need to take this one here, semi bold semi condemn. So let's have a look. Okay, and I just put it in white. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I can remove the border now. Shape format, shape outline, no outline. I could put this a little bit bigger maybe. A kilometer of running so what do i want next next i want to have a chart that show that will show the completion now we have this completed and left to do so we just grab th those two we select those two we go under insert chart we take uh, this one here the donut chart uh, we just remove the legend and we remove the title and now we just click on change top and we click back again and it changed the donut for some reason so it needs to you need to go back there to to make sure that it takes into account that you remove those those stuff so here i can size it the way i want because i want to remove the shape fill once again and we can shape it uh, the size that we want but first, so here I've done only 20. So what I've done here, I want to show it in deep green. So I'll just go back here and here I show the deep green. And what is not done, uh, I want to put the, the white of shame. So I need to make sure that, okay. Uh, so now I put it here. So I reserve the right to change a little bit the size of this later on, but uh, first of all, I want to put everything in a box. What would be very important is to, uh, looks like uh, I need to remove the, the shape outline here. What is very important is to make sure that before you start duplicating the boxes that you get the first one right. So spend a lot of time on the first one, uh, get it perfect, and after it's just a matter of copying, pasting, and, uh, and moving things around. Now, uh, still don't really like this, but uh, we'll see that towards the end. Uh, what I need to put now is the progress itself. So the 20 kilometer run here. So I'm just gonna take a box and I'm just gonna duplicate it, duplicate it, control D, so I don't have to redo all the things. And I'm gonna duplicate it again, actually. So the next one will be the uh, 12 so that would be a small one and it will be I need to go back on top here and that will be the the progress that we have made 20 kilometer run 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 20 kilometer run and these two I want to make sure that uh, uh, I have it to the light so I just need to make sure that I I go back to this one here and that's it 20 kilometer run and we have only one thing that we want on this is the the target uh, so the target here it's already in a appropriate color i'm just going to have to select the last field here target is 100 kilometer and i press enter 
and uh, you remove <laughs> the white. So I'm just gonna have to do the hard work again. So remove this, going back to the recently used font, put this uh, back in white and the size that I wanted was 14. So that's it. I want a little bit of shade, maybe on this one. Okay. It's not too bad. Okay, so to give it a bit of life, I'd like to put a symbol on it. So we go to insert icons and we find something related to running. So we just put run here or running and we take a, a deep one. We don't take the shallow one, we take a deep one so it stands out and we insert it. Uh, we just insert it and we need to put it in white again so I had white here and I want to put a little bit of shadow so it stands out so I don't know if it's a good idea you might not like it but uh, I, I think it stands out a bit uh, that motivates you doesn't it so that motivates you and and I think when we see you know despite what I say that we need to do one perfectly and uh, after duplicate I think once we see all the boxes together then uh, we might decide uh, to make some final changes. But um, this could give you a quick visual. You have run 20 kilometers, the target is 100. So here that's showing uh, what you have done, 20%. And we are, we are doing running here. So this is it. So we've done one box. Okay, now we need to duplicate that box. So it's not perfect, but it's the it's the best way, at least it, it gives us the, the shape of the box that we can uh, work with. So first thing we need to do is we go to find and select and we select objects. We select this old box and we go to graphic format and we group it. So this way we can, you know, if we want to move things, we just move the whole box. The second thing we can do is we just, once it's selected, we press Ctrl D and then we duplicate it and that will be a framework for our second box. So it's not perfect, uh, we, we still have to do some uh, formatting but at least that gives us the framework. So now what I can do is I can ungroup it, I ungroup it and we can start the work. Okay so we are moving from left to right, now I want to do the, the water. Uh, first I need to double click on the cell so I remove from the select option. I click on the border of that box here and instead of putting F4 I want to retrieve G4 and I'm going to do this for more or less all the elements of that box. So I just put water here as you've seen is uh, change the format so we need, just need to go back here and just say okay we want a 16, 16, uh, uh, I have 16, that's it, 16 and I want to have the very deep purple and as the box itself I want the shape format I want a light purple here so I don't want kilometer of running obviously I want to instead of F5 I want G5 but you know the challenge I was mentioning before is once you do this it changes the format for some reason so it's uh, easy or you can you can go there and you double click you, you use the format painter and you click back on conception and put it the same way now the chart, we need to select those two instead. So we just drag this here and that's it. So it's 50%, uh, but we need to change the color. So we click on the, what has been done and here I will put a deep blue as well. Uh, a deep uh, purple again. And on the left, I will put uh, white. So this is showing the 50%, uh, 20 kilometer, Instead, we want to put what we have drank. So we go to G, do this. So uh, we need to change the format for this 10 liter drink. So what uh, is for this? It's 12. I put the, the wrong font. So I'll just go back here. It's 12. Next, the target. Same, G. Press enter 
and I can take this one for my painter and I paint on it. So it's relatively quick. Now who can tell me what's what's wrong with this? Well, it's the icon doesn't really relate to water, does it? So we remove, uh, I don't know if we can do right click and change, change graphic from icons. I can do change because this way I won't have to, to do the formatting, but uh, a small gain. So instead I just put bottle something, a bottle, I'm trying to find a bottle. Uh, so it has to be fully dark, so I'll just put this one here. So that's it, it's already taken the format, so it's done. I have done two boxes. Now, I continue, I go to find and select, select. This time, I'm gonna be greedy, I'm gonna take the two boxes. You see, one has been grouped, one hasn't been grouped. So I just control D and I move those. It's starting to take shape. I move those underneath here. And I'm gonna do the work again. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so we finish our boxes. As you can see, I have uh, I've played around with this one here, the the yellowish. Uh, needed to be a little bit darker, I think. Um, but that's that's all done. So now, when we progress, I progress when we change this. I change the icons there on the on the right. So fifteen, that changes everything. Just checking, it changes everything. Ten, that changes. Yes. I changed the right thing. Uh, no, this. Uh, okay, so this. <laughs> this was not done. Oh, and now I have to do it all again. Now, okay, so this is done. 10 minutes spent, target 20 minutes. That's it. Obviously, you can do as many as you like. Uh, select objects. Why not? The duplication. The never-ending duplication. So and and then you obviously have to put more on the on the left-hand side. What you can do is every week you just uh, put that back to zero, and then you you keep tracking. I mean, this is something that you want to do.